Welcome back to Sinatra DIY. My name is Sylvia. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this um, face and body lotion. Um, this is gentle on the skin and this um, moisturizes the skin and smoothens the skin. So let's get started. So to get started, I'm going to start off with measuring out my emulsifying wax and I'm using um, emulsifying wax on um, 15 grams of emulsifying wax and the next I'm measuring out my oil. I'm using grapeseed oil because it's a lightweight oil. You can use any oil of your choice um, to make this um, body and face and body cream. And for the oil, I'm measuring out 36 grams of grapeseed oil. And after I'm measuring my grapeseed oil, the next I'm measuring out is my um, shea butter. So for my shea butter, I'm measuring out um, 30 grams of shea butter. And after measuring out my oil phase, the next phase is my water phase. So here I have my distilled water. I'm measuring out 210 grams of distilled water. As you can see on the scale I'm using, the kitchen scale. So I have 210 grams of distilled water. So next I'm measuring out is my glycerin. And glycerin is a humectant. It's um draws water from the environment into your skin and with that reason your skin wouldn't dry with this um, your skin will not dry out with this cream it will always stay moisturized so i'm measuring out and um, for my glycerin i have my, i have nine grams of glycerin So after measuring out um, my ingredients, um, I'm going to start off with the oil phase. I'm mixing both the shea butter, the grapeseed oil, and the um, emulsifying wax into a, a separate beaker. So the next is my water phase. I'm, I'm adding the glycerin into the water phase. So after adding this um, um, water phase and oil phase together, then the next is to place both over a low heat in a double boiling method. So here, put water in a pan and heat it up on a low heat and allow the butters and emulsify, emulsifying wax to dissolve. And that's exactly what I'm doing at this point. So after melting the oils and the butters, the next is to mix, combine the both phases together. So I'm gently and gradually adding the water into the oil phase. And then as I add it, I blend with my immersion blender. So what, what I do here, I blend out every um, two minutes and stop the blender and allow the, the um, oils and butter to, to thicken a little. Then I continue again. I start um, blending until um, it gets to the consistency I want. So at this point, I'm going to keep it and allow it to cool down a little. At this point, because it's very hot at this point, So here's what it looks like. It has taken up a little. So I'm going to blend it, give it one more last, one more blend. So 
so the next at this point is to add the coda um, ingredients so I have my rose strat after adding my rose strat I'm going to mix it So below this video, I'll drop the link on how to make the rose extract. Then the next extract I'm adding is my beetroot extract. In my beetroot extract, I have five grams of beetroot extract. And after adding it, I'm going to mix it very well. It has changed the color to pink and, and I love this color so well. So the next, um, after adding my beetroot extract, the next is my vitamin E oil. And I'm going to mix it as well. So after mixing it, um, the next I'm adding is my essential oils. I'm using a vanilla essential oil. It smells so good. Below, I will leave the link um, where I got the um, the ingredient I use for this um, face and body cream. So the last ingredient I'm adding at this point is my preservative. Here I use um, Liquid Jamon Plus and this preservative is a broad spectrum so you can use it both in water um, formulations and oil formulations. So after adding my preservative then I'm going to give it the last mix. So this is what um, our, much, our face and body moisturizing cream looks like. I love the consistency, I love the thickness, I love everything about this cream. Both the smell and the thickness. So after I'm missing, giving it the last mix, then I'm transferring it into a clean container, a sterilized container. So this is what the cream looks like so I later transfer some of them into a, a bottle that I can um, use the pump to take it out whenever I want the cream so this is what the cream looks like if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to share the video give it thumbs up and subscribe if you've not done so for more videos so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video and you can do that by clicking the um, bell close to the subscribe button. Thank you so much and see you in my next video. Bye.